Hi students, welcome to biology online and with a lab component. I know that um, some of you guys are so apprehensive about doing biology online. Maybe you've had bad experiences with um, online courses in the past, but I'm really, really hoping that this is going to be a very fun class and enjoyable and you find that you can learn online really well. Um, and we're going to do the lab online too. So um, I'll usually have instructional videos like this that will go over the top level highlights and the most important things that um, you need to get out of the readings that and other uh, videos that you'll see during the week. Um, just always make sure that you don't neglect those other resources as well, but I'll try to make these really valuable and worth your time. So one of the things that's really important is to put Canvas on your phone. So um, having Canvas on your phone is really helpful for checking your grades. Um, at the beginning of your course, at the top of your course, I have a like module called um, about this course and it has some important information like the calendar and the syllabus. It also has um, a page that explains how to put Canvas on your phone and how to update your smartphone. So I've made that into an optional assignment, but if you send me a screenshot in that optional assignment of Canvas on your phone or you updating your avatar, then um, I will give you two extra credit points on your first quiz. And you might not think that's very much, but when your first quiz is out of 20, that can grade or raise your grade up 10%. So it's, it's pretty good. So a little bit about me. I am an active environmental researcher. I go every summer around the world to different research stations um, researching environmental science. So here's me when I got to work for the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority called Grunta. And we did um, Great Barrier Reef health assessments and surveys and replanted some of the reef and did some reef restoration. Um, I've been teaching for um, tw over 20 years now and um, I have taught online uh, many courses in the past. I do have five uh, little kids and I have a golden doodle dog that is very high energy and a tortoise and a great husband that backs everything up. Um, in my bio about me, you'll find all the other research stations that I've been to. And as I go through my lectures, I'll talk about those. But I've um, stayed summers in Borneo studying the rainforests. And there's a whole YouTube series about the work um, that we were doing there in Dano Garang. Um, I have worked for um, in the Mexican government in the Sea of Cortez doing um, whale shark research and... Um, as a diver and then I've done um, other work in Yellowstone with park geologists and I've been um, to the Middle East working on drought research it's just it's something that calls me to go every year so soon I hope it will be Africa um, so that's a little bit about me I have two master's degrees one um, in biology and one in educational technology. Both of those together make me a good online science teacher, hopefully, hopefully good. Um, so this class is Bio 100 and who would specifically need this? You need this if you are a non um, science major student. So this meets your general education requirements um, and that's my tortoise. Um, so this is good for people in any of these uh, degrees that you see here. Any of these would be a great Bio 100 to get in your lab science. So if you happen to be heading into a medical-like program, if you're going into nursing, if you're trying to be pre-med, if you are trying to go into something something medical or nursing, um, or you are a hardcore science, some other science major, then this probably will not meet your requirements um, for your major. It'll make, meet your GE requirements, your general ed, but there's a lot of other science courses that you'll take that will also meet it. So this ends up being redundant. So I hate to have you waste your time. 
please, please check in with your counselor to see if you are on the right track. Um, so if you're a biology major, you're going to need biology 130 and 131 and not this course. So please see your counselor, email them immediately if you feel like you are a hardcore science major, a biology major going pre-med, something like that, and see if this is in fact the right course for you. So biology 130 and 131 are specifically two semesters of biology and it goes much deeper into the content. So this is a lot more surface of a class. Um, here's a really cool um, video of, maybe it's not going to play, that's all right. It's a cool video of a um, gull eating a fish, um, but we'll move on. So um, if there's still a question, um, if it's right, if it's the right class or not, please, please make sure you check. And as we watch this cool video of the gull eating this huge fish, um, <laughs> it brings up this point that sometimes you don't know um, what you can do until you try it. Um, so that gull, um, a lot of people call them seagulls. That's actually an incorrect name. The correct name is a gull. Um, their seagulls are not a thing, but a lot of people call them that. Um, so what types of topics do we learn in Biology 100? Um, here's, here's some. These are just some, and there, there's so many more. Um, you can flip through your textbook and kind of see, but we will talk about some chemistries, of basic, basic chemistry, um, some cells, basic cell things, um, how we get energy from food, DNA, inheritance, evolution, diversity of life, ecology, a lot of human body. So hopefully it will be really fun. Um, so... Um, in Canvas, I'm really, I really try to be good at updating Canvas and making sure everything is fresh. So always go and check it for course announcements, practice tests, labs, syllabus. Always check your grade. If you find something that's incorrect, email me right away because I like to know and I like to fix things. Um, so please always email me if you see anything. This is the book that you can buy a paper copy version of it. Because this course is online, you might wanna consider buying a paper version of it. You can get it on Amazon for about $25, but it is also free. So in each Canvas module, I have a direct link to the chapter for the week. So you can go ahead and read directly online or you could print just the pages that you want, um, but, I just know for some students, having a set textbook is helpful, but you don't have to have it. So maybe you want to try the first week or two, see how you do, and then decide if you're going to purchase it or not. So um, you can share them. These are different places where you could potentially get a book. Um, what's going to be critical for this course is that you have a computer and you have a really good internet connection um, so that you don't Get yourself in a position where you're starting something last minute and then um, you're not able to get it turned in because your computer wasn't working or the page wasn't loading. Just always stay on top of things. I will usually try to list um, all of the assignments for this week and then all of the assignments for next week. So you can always look ahead and move ahead um, to those two weeks worth of work. So um, what is an honor code? You can work in teams um, for some things, studying, um, discussion boards, some, some labs might have some teamwork that we are gonna list online. But for the most part, um, quizzes and tests obviously need to be done on your own. So the grade breakdown is going to be that tests are your exams, which are three big exams of the semester. Um, they will be worth 40%. They'll be online on Canvas. And then you'll have your labs worth 40%. Quizzes that you take um, each um, day, usually each, um, we have them, since you guys meet twice a week, we'll have two, two sets of quizzes a week. Um, and then discussion boards are worth about 5%. Um, if you're not good on tests, 
know that they're open book, they're open note, you can go and look. And the best part is, is that, um, well, I don't think I list it yet, but each quiz at each um, quiz, you will have two chances to take the quiz. So um, the system is set to keep your highest score. So you can take the quiz, kind of see how you're doing, and then go back and study those specific topics that you missed. Um, so there's no time limit. And if you're late on any online quiz, test, lab, or discussion board, you'll just lose 5% Per day that you're late and I say just because but that eventually adds up so each day that you're late um, because this is a fast-paced course we really can't get very far behind so please just stay on top of that and move things along as you as you go so and a lot of times I will send alerts if I see that things are missing so how on earth are we gonna do the labs in an online course so um, most um, lab activities will have uh, no supplies or very, very few supplies. And um, you will have to get some basic supplies sometimes at home. Um, but uh, just know that in some courses, they basically sell a lab kit. This will be cheaper than that. It will be things that you could easily get at, you know, a grocery store or a dollar store if we ever have those things. Um, the biggest things that you will need is that at some point you will need a smartphone that um, is hooked up to the internet, uh, like can get Wi-Fi. Um, and then you will need a computer. So um, a lot of times you will need access to some kind of printer. Um, but I'm always fine if you want to record the lab um, information on your own piece of paper and then submit it via Canvas that way. That's one of the helpful things about having Canvas on your phone is you can just take pictures of the assignment and upload it that way. Um, is there a dissection? No. Am I going to be totally on my own? Um, for a lot of the labs, we will have some shared information, but for most of it, you will be on your own. I'll make sure that you have a step guide that walks you through each lab activity, or I will do a video, and sometimes I'll do both. So if you miss a lab, again, you lose 5% uh, for each day that you're late. And I really, really, really want you guys all to do well in the class. So please um, always reach out to me. Feel free to email me if you have questions. Um, take care and I will move on to the next piece of information.